Okay, so I had a dual cream color from e.l.f., which is called Butter Pecan, and I'm applying the darker side to my entire eyelid. Oh yeah, hi guys. This is my bronze look that I promised ages ago. But I'm finally getting it done. So yeah, I'm applying the dark bronzy brown side of the Butter Pecan Duo from e.l.f. They're great cream shadows, only a dollar. And now I'm taking, nope, nope, still doing the dark side. Okay, just even that out. Do it from the lash line to the crease. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking the lighter side of that, which is a fleshy cream color with a little bit of sparkle, and I'm dabbing that on my finger and bringing that from the darker color up to my brow on both sides and just patting it on very lightly um, just so there's a kind of a base for the crease color and also a highlight. Ready. I'm making funny faces. All right. Okay, I'm taking Flare by Milani, which is a dark rust color, and I'm looking for my brush. And my floofy brush is dirty, so I'm taking a smaller fluffy brush and swirling that in bronze and applying that over the um, dark brown cream color. So it's a very orangey um, shadow. It's called Flare. It's number 04 from Milani. This might be an old pot that I have, but I'm sure they still have it. It's a gorgeous color. And I applied the um, cream colors with an American painter, uh, filbert head number 10. Low Cornell brush. Sorry it took so long to do this, I've been so busy and um, my editing software was being stupid and kept um, shutting out of itself when I was editing and uh, <laughs> wouldn't let me put it all back together at once, um, all my clips would be in the trash and I would get so frustrated that I just wouldn't finish. Okay, so now I'm taking um, another Milani product, it's their Loose Shadow. What I do, since it's hard to apply with a little brush, I take um, the small brush that it comes with and tap some of the color into the lid, which is pretty deep, and I apply it like a pigment. Um, I'm using a big crease brush. I'm buffing it into my crease and up above my crease, almost to the brow bone but not quite. Just making it really smooth and kind of fading up. I did the darker color on the lid and the lighter color in the crease this time. It's kind of a nice fade. Doing that on the other eye. And buff that in as much as possible because it's such a strong color that you want it to be smooth. Well, any color you really want to be smooth, but. And I love the bronze and the browns because they bring out um, the greenish tones in brown eyes. And I love to fake that my eyes are green because I'm sick of brown eyes. Okay. So now I'm taking um, Hard Nair's Pigment. And with the same kind of fluffy brush, 
I am applying it to the center of the eyelid and up into the brow bone. So it has that nice shine that kind of stays in the color family and it plays up um, where the crease was buffed out. But there's still that little sliver of uh, the cream color on the brow bone. And I love that shine right in the middle of the eye. That's always one of my favorite things. And before I applied all these colors, I applied my Too Faced eyeshadow insurance as an extra um, <laughs> insurance as a base coat. And I love the pigment because it plays with the color family. It's got a little bit of pink in it. So it's lighter, so it can go up into the brow bone. And it's so shiny and shimmery. Just gives that eye the extra pop. I lost my voice this week and it still hasn't come back. Okay, now I'm taking a black pencil that has a little bit of green reflex in it. It is um, a Rimmel dual eye pencil. And they come in uh, different colored glitters on one side. I have the green glitters on this side. And the other color is a corresponding black pencil um, with a little bit of that color in the black. So this green is a very subtle and the black pencil it looks like a black pencil, but when you turn, you know, it kind of flashes the green. Again, this is something that brings out brown eyes. Let's darken that up. I think I got one a little bit more than the other, but the lighting was so bad that I couldn't tell. I could hardly see what I was doing. No, oh, there we go. I'm also doing the upper lash line. Um, the inner upper lash line, I just kind of push out where the lashes are just to fill them in and make them look a little bit thicker. Now mascara. I'm doing this without a mirror, this is all on the monitor. The horrible light. Wow. Yeah, one minute. Oh, okay. I could not see with this light. <laughs> I'm buffing some bronzer over my cheeks and jaw with a big dollar store kabuki brush just to give a natural kind of glow. But it's also a matte bronzer, so it doesn't make the skin as shiny. And lastly, a nude lip. I think that's what I'm doing. Yep. Just dotting on a nude pink gloss. Just maybe a shade darker than the lip color. And there we go. And that's the look. Great natural bronze, daytime, nighttime, party time, anytime look. <laughs>